the Blight House. Only the highest level demons who possess the strength of final bosses are permitted to live in the core of the Netherworld. It represents the epitome of violence, where weaklings wouldn't even be allowed to come pick up the trash. The Netherworld president himself stands atop this place. So this is the Blight House, where the terror that maintains order in the human world is developed. Huh? It looks different than Hades. This place is, like, on a totally different level. Well, duh! Only the highest level demons who have mastered the extremes of violence get to live here. After taking this place down, the president's office will belong to Big Sis. Desco will do her best. Well, my lord, we shall now open the gates to the end of the netherworld and begin our reform. <clears throat> Valvatores. I have come from the depths of Hades to beat some sense back into this rotten netherworld. Our mission is to usurp the regime. I don't expect you to give in very easily. Go ahead and resist all you want. I shall pin each and every one of you down and teach you a lesson the Hades way. Now, tremble in fear! Oh! <laughs> Well, they're rather obedient, aren't they? Really are trembling. This is more than just trembling. This is like... Desco senses a tremendous amount of murderous intent. The rumbling is coming from the ground. It's the echo of the violence across the land. The destructive footsteps of 600,000 demons! As expected of corruptment soldiers, their morale seems to have risen instead of falling in fear from hearing our Lord's name. Huh. At least they're motivated. I thought I was prepared for this, but seeing all this in front of me, it's more intense than I expected. I know this is just a dream, but I'm getting kind of scared. It won't be funny if I wet the bed at my age. I need to be careful. Big Sis, that's not what you should be worried about right now. What the? <laughs> right on time. Pretty rule number six. You shall never make your master wait. I barely made it. Sorry to make you wait, dude. In answer to Lord Valvatoris' call, many brave souls have gathered here, dude. About 20 million plebeian demons, about 5 million bourgeois demons, about 1.3 million black blood demons. About 100 million primies! We're all here to support you, dude! I know I'm in no position to say this, but leave these peons to us and go defeat the president, dude! You guys... Are you sure that's an accurate headcount? Not at all, sir! I was kind of exaggerating, dude. Nevertheless, you seem to have an amazing amount of supporters here. This was bound to happen for an eminent leader, but... This isn't necessary. Using numbers against numbers... This is like war. You shouldn't chastise them, my lord. They have all gathered here with the dream of taking over the Corruptiment with you. Huh. <laughs> Then let's hurry so that we can end this madness! We have no reason to be scared, now that we've got the same amount of force on our side! Yes! Desco 
Mako's chance of becoming a final boss is dramatically increased! I think we've got this! Let's go, everyone! Our only target is the Netherworld President! Don't even think about those other peons! Thus began the 62nd Netherworld Presidential Eve Election. The only thing that can win the majority? Power. In the Netherworld, power is justice. That is the one and only rule that must be followed. Huh? That was easier than I thought. I didn't know how tough they would be, just judging by how scared Emisa was. They totally weren't worth it. This just goes to show how close we are to the president's office. <laughs> Desko is climbing the ladder to the position of final boss very quickly. Desko is almost there, big sis. Once Desko becomes a final boss... Don't flatter yourselves, fools! Those were just peons! They're ants compared to father! Oh? That sounded like you were bragging about your father. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. What do you make of this, Fenric? They weren't peons. They were the President's elite forces. Indeed. However, they were much too weak. But how can that be? They didn't look like they were going easy on us. Is the condition of the Netherworld really so dire? Huh? They don't seem familiar. We've been waiting for you, rebels from Hades! How outrageous of you, a mere pretty instructor, to oppose the president! Your actions call for no punishment short of your death. All of you shall be executed right here. Ooh, these guys seem different than the others. Hell yeah they do! They're the three brutes of the netherworld! I didn't think we'd see them so soon! The three brutes? They sound pretty tough. They're not just pretty tough, they've punished more humans than anybody! They're the symbols of fear in the human world! Silos of Thunder! The atrocious Trollmayer! Vaultus of Despair! Together, they are the three brutes of the Netherworld! So they're like the five something something! Do they have their own kids show? No way! They aren't anything like that! Miss Fuka, is it? You seem rather calm in the face of such strong enemies. Just call me Fuka, and what's to be scared of? Strong or not, this is all just happening in my dream. Pardon me? In your dream? Sis still hasn't accepted that she died, and believes that everything that's happening is part of her dream. Okay, I... I see. Interesting. And you? Desco is a final weapon that was created by humans. She's just a girl who aspires to someday become a final boss. What a wonderful dream! Oh, Lady Archangel, I may have chosen the wrong kind of people to align myself with. The Three Brutes, huh? Well, there sure are a variety of people these days. 
They're juveniles who earned some points during your absence. It's only natural that you don't recognize their faces. However, I can't accept the fact that these whelps are arrogantly strutting around in your presence, my lord. <laughs> then we shall teach those youngsters a lesson on how to fight a real battle! <laughs>